We had the Rock's 25th anniversary 25-man dual branded battle royal. It went 10 minutes. We had... It sucked. Drew Gulak, R-Truth, Otis, T-Bar, Cedric, Chad Gable, Eric, Umberto, Ivar, Jinder Mahal, Shelton, Angel, Shanky, Mansoor, Robert Roode, Dolph Ziggler, Sami Zayn, Aziz, AJ, Apollo Crews, Angelo Dawkins, Cesaro, and Montez Ford. It sucked, as Dave noted. Well, you know the thing that from, from the very beginning, it was a freaking t-shirt battle royal. I mean, like, the minute you see that visual, it's like, this sucks. It's like... It, it sucked before it even started when everyone's out there in those in those stupid t-shirts it's like with the t-shirts also is it doesn't matter i mean i know it, they want you to know like who's on what brand but it doesn't who matter who cares it's, it's a battle royal it's completely irrelevant in this battle royal all you need to know is what brand the winner is on you and they even, can you, tell you after the match is over it doesn't even matter it's a battle royal the winner's the winner you don't well, it's not like it's a it is a it is a dual branded so it's like it's for brand supremacy here so. but it's not like it's not a 12 man tag match you know, I'm mean, a 12 versus 12 tag match. It's a battle royal. If it was a 12 versus 12 tag match, even then, I would say, like, even it then, it still I doesn't say, matter. I mean, there's yeah. no consequences to winning. Yeah, I mean, literally, I mean, I, I, it was equal to any other match on the show, except it sucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, but the, the t shirts were so stupid. It's like, I, I mean, it just makes everyone look so rinky dink. Well, Omos it, killed everybody. Yeah, that was the story. He played Andre the Giant, eliminated like 12 guys. And then it comes down to Omos and Ricochet. I don't think there was one fan in the building that thought Ricochet had a chance. He was immediately eliminated. Omos wins. There was pizza at ringside for a product placement. Uh, Street Profits stole the pizza from Omos and threw it into the crowd to the fans, which I would hate to be hit by a pizza, by the way, if I went to a wrestling show. And then Omos was very upset about that. Well, they had the, they had the, the pizza was there like from before the start. Like the, the Street Profits came out with the pizza. So it was actually their pizza. And then uh, it's a Pizza Hut product placement. And then at the end, well, remember and during the match, they gave the, 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 um, our truth grabbed a pizza, went to give it to Omos. Um, somehow or other, Ot Otis got it and ate the pizza. And then Omos threw him out of the ring. Um, I guess for, for, uh, eating pizza in the middle. But that I thought like when, when our truth came in and, and hands Otis the pizza. And he's just eating the pizza in the middle of the match. I mean, it was just like, okay, it's bad enough. Now it's now it's like it's worse. So it was just, you know, it was they got paid. You know, they got paid by the Rocks movie, and they got paid by Pizza Hut, and you know that's the deals that Nikon does. And that's hey, what dude, we this get. was way better than having to see the Miz wrestle zombies. So I'm not going to complain. And no one suffered a serious injury like Miz did when he wrestled zombies. We had a, I, the ma the, it, but it still hurt the match, and then the stuff at the end where the with the pizzas and everything was just, yeah, I don't know. It it felt it wasn't entertaining. They got money for it, good for them. I, it was not entertaining. We had a series of vignettes with Vince and this egg. He was given this egg by The Rock twenty five years ago or something like that. And no, 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 just now. No, he said the. I, I thought he said The Rock gave it to him twenty five years ago. How could The Rock no, give it to he, him here? No, 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 no. The Rock gave it to him because The Rock, because the movie's real or something that he just did, and that's for, it's from the movie. 25 years, it was talking about 25 years ago, he debuted with $7 in his pocket, and now look at him, he's a big movie star. That's where the 25 years So where did this from. egg come from? Rock Rock is actually at the building? Ro Ro no, 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 no. Rock is like a, what's it called? Rock is a, um whatever whatever role, he's actually like a, you know, like he actually, like, the role that Rock plays is, I guess, some dude looking for treasure or something. I don't know. But so he's so in the movie, it's like he's searching for something. But in real life, we have to pretend that the movie is real life. So in real life, he actually did, in fact, find this thing. And because he's so grateful to Vince, he gave Vince this thing. So it's like he gave Vince this. So maybe thing. that's why the fans thought he was there. He gave him this egg. <laughs> like when? Weeks ago. Whenever, yeah. Well, you said just now. No, he showed up with the egg. He had, he had it. He well, showed it off. Vince to, showed up with the egg. Vince showed up with the thing, and he was bragging to uh, wasn't Roman Reigns? Anyway, and when Roman it Reigns, was Roman Reigns, and then it was Sonya and and uh, Adam Pierce. The point of this is the egg got stolen. Vince said the egg's worth a hundred million dollars, 
And so now could, everybody could a, could, on Raw and SmackDown has to be at Raw tomorrow so Vince can interrogate everyone about his egg. Yes, that's going to be the theme of Raw tomorrow is Vince McMahon. Well, no, Adam Pearce and Sonya are the ones who are supposed to. Adam Pearce is the one who's supposed to interrogate everyone, but Vince is going to be there. I know people are going to think Rock's going to be there as the man that took the egg. Brock Lesnar may be the guy who took the egg if it's Adam Pearce. <laughs> Brock Lesnar took the egg? I don't know. Someone who knows. Maybe Hornswoggle's back. I don't know. I don't know who's doing what. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.